Call of Duty Zombies has always been something that I've always enjoyed ever since I played it back in 2008 on Call of Duty World of War, whenever I played the first map Nocturne and Toten. And I've been playing every Zombies map till the end of Black Ops 4 with Tag Der Toten, which was a remake of Call of the Dead and we got to see our Victus crew one last time. But for this year's Zombies, we come back to Nocturne and Toten on D Machine, and I gotta be honest, it is a really fun map to play. And one of the new features to Zombies is Crate of Class. This is where you can pull in with uh, any weapon you want to. However, there is a tier system with each weapon, which you go to the weapon arsenal to upgrade your weapons. And it's really fun to do. It's really fun to run around with some of these guns and level them up and have a lot of fun. And the level design of the machine is pretty good. It's not just... Uh, Nocturne Toten as we all know it it has a lot more expanded areas in the underground area so there is a lot more in the map than just Nocturne Toten itself. The map is very easy to get into it's not very hard to figure out where things are. And now you have new features as upgradable perks, upgradable web classes, upgradable field orders. It's It's been really fun to progress through all that stuff like for example with Jug you can upgrade Jug to tier 1, tier 2, and tier 3. So tier 3 may give you 250 health besides the 150 you start with. So it's it's been really fun to upgrade these perks. You unlock Ethereum crystals by doing milestones like reaching round 10, round 15, round 25, just other milestones. And you use that stuff in the skills category to upgrade all this stuff. And the field upgrades, man, they're a lot better this time than in Black Ops 4 because... The field upgrades, like your specialist weapon, they're actually a lot more usable in the game than in Black Ops 4. For example, one of my favorite field upgrades is Ether Shroud. It's where you can set like a cloak on you, kind of like zombie blood from Origins, where the zombies would just ignore you. I find this very useful when I need to revive someone who's down and I got a horde behind me. And the guns now have a tier system like uncommon to common rare or legendary and you collect salvage from zombies when you kill them and you collect this and you use it at the arsenal to upgrade your weapons base damage and you can do the same thing with pack-a-punch there's three tiers of pack-a-punch there's a lot to do in the map there's a lot of fun to be had and there's also a new feature to end the game there is something called exfil you did good work, team. Let's regroup to plan our next move. After round 10, you'll have the option to exfil. If you're in a game with multiple people, you will have to have one person accept the request. And once that happens, you'll have to go to a certain area and you'll have to kill zombies within that area to board the helicopter. If you don't, then the helicopter somehow magically just explodes. But overall, I've been having a lot of fun with the zombies mode, and I've been playing a lot and having a lot of fun. But that will be all for today's video. If you're new around here, subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you guys in the next video. See you later.